China's warnings against Taiwan's independence are growing louder, saying its military is ready to fight, claiming Taiwan is a part of China. China just completed three days of large-scale combat exercises around Taiwan, including simulating sealing off the island. Those drills announced Saturday after Taiwan's president returned to Taipei after visiting the U.S. and meeting with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy in Los Angeles. Correspondent Kelly Myers live for us in D.C. Kelly, how is the U.S. responding to this? Well, hey, Nicole, the White House says it's monitoring this closely and that there's no reason for China to be reacting this way to a meeting between Taiwan's president and U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Taiwan saying today that China is using the president's visit to the U.S. as an excuse to escalate military drills, those drills now going on for three days and counting. Taiwan on high alert. PLA's recent harassment with their assets has destabilized the region. China escalating military exercises against Taiwan for the third day straight, dispatching dozens of fighter planes patrolling the island by air, while at sea conducting simulated attacks against moving targets. Just days after Taiwan's president met with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. The White House today saying it is watching China's moves closely. They appear to be a reaction to something that didn't need to be reacted to. Republicans are urging the U.S. to speed up the supply of weapons to Taiwan to deter a potential invasion of the island China still considers part of its territory. McCarthy was pressed during his meeting how imminent an attack from China may be. We advocate that that day never comes. Just days after McCarthy's meeting, a delegation of U.S. lawmakers touched down in Taiwan, with House Foreign Affairs Committee chairman saying he's doing everything he can to expedite deliveries of weapons that were delayed to supply chain issues and support to Ukraine as Russia continues its invasion. This as Taiwan's military moves troops and readies air defense systems as they continue to watch for China's next move. And today, a U.S. Navy destroyer sailing through the South China Sea, a routine mission, they say, but also a show of force as China continues conducting these military exercises, Beijing denouncing that voyage as illegal. Nicole. All right, Kelly, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.